Hello. You might not know it, but for ministers and for liturgical geeks, next Sunday is known as uh, Christ King or Rein the Reign of Christ uh, Sunday. And this holy day is, it's, it's interesting because it's fairly new. It uh, was created in 1925 by the Roman Catholic Church and then spread to other churches, other denomination. And the idea is to reinforce the, the, um, the principle that Christ uh, rules not only over the church, but all over the world. It was an answer to the rise of, in mid-20s, of fascism and all sort of uh, authoritarian regime that led us to World War II, unfortunately. And I can see historically the importance of making this statement. But today we struggle a little with this idea of kingship of the power of Christ and often we we jump really rapidly said yes he's a king but Christ is a very different kind of king it's not about uh, an almighty being it's not about power but it's about in humility it's in his humility it is in his service that Christ find its power is kinship for example the reading, uh, the gospel reading for next Sunday, come from uh, Gospel according to Luke. It's the story of the crucifixion, and Jesus is crucified, humiliated. People are scoffing him. A soldier are mocking him. And then there's the true. Well, there's both criminal uh, crucified with Jesus. Something a detail only found in Luke. And one is mocking Jesus saying you know you're supposed to be king of the Jew you should have the power to avoid this but the other one said you know uh, no no don't listen to him and Jesus remember me when you will be in your kingdom and Jesus reply well today you will be with me in paradise and people tend to say ha ha this is a proof that he's a king you know he forgives him and back then only kings has this power of forgiveness so he is a king but a different kind of king but he's a king <clears throat> I understand uh, the the basic the sociology the psychological need for people to have their Messiah their Savior as someone powerful someone as a king nobody wants to be saved by someone who has no power but this quest of power has a cost I find even saying that <clears throat> sorry even saying that Christ is a king but a different kind of king you still play in this game of power exactly and domination and who was the real domination the thing is Jesus according what we read in our Gospels is not someone who value power is not looking for power more often than other he will present himself as the servant the last the the least of everyone uh, is not necessarily against power but he will denounce it when it's not used properly but he wants something else as the way he live his life and and when we look at this narrative of the crucifixion which let's be honest is maybe the worst thing that can happen to a messiah a savior it's once again it's horrible it's a humiliated things it's it's torture and that's not what people necessarily say when they see Jesus on the cross they don't say wow that's power that's that's powerful 
No, we have uh, Jesus Christ that is completely helpless. He's humiliated. And you have this feeling to his life he was by moment resourceless. He was abandoned by his disciple, misunderstood. And maybe what's <clears throat> getting our attention is he does not give up. He kept going on. Um, he has this determination, this profound belief about this crazy project of this realm of God on the earth. And he never missed an opportunity to talk about it, to promote this idea, to reaching out to someone. Even on the cross, he's reaching out to someone. And not necessarily always looking for the mass to create this great movement to overthrow Caesar. To most often we witnessing him reaching out one individual at a time, focusing on the person in front of him. And this kind of attitude, this kind of of way of being, I guess convince people more than all the titles, all the, 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 the power we can give him. It's maybe that reason I struggle so much with this kind of holiday, the reign of Christ, Christ the King. Because I have the feeling that by doing so we play in the game of empire, of the rest of the world. While Jesus, it was all about less power, more fragility, more authenticity. And I hope we can reclaim that. As in the Western world, we are out of Christendom, where we were in power. And sometimes it's the, how can we get back to there, said, no, that's where we made our worst mistakes in Christendom when we add this power maybe it's time for the next maybe centuries <laughs> to follow jesus in his fragility and this to be less and not more once again thank you very much for watching i remain the lectionary man reverend stefan vermette and until next time take care of yourself and bye-bye